To make sure that our left hand is completely jellyfish relaxed, a reminder, we are always holding an apple. The space between each finger normally is like what Starker used to say, a pencil or a cigarette, but let's prefer a pencil. <laughs> and we have a relationship between the thumb and second finger, like in the bowl. We call it the ring, but we feel it, strawberry. And there are two kinds of strawberries that we want to feel. One is the one you buy in Whole Foods, and it's really good and expensive. The other one is rotten strawberry. So you cannot squish it at all. One of them, it's just, you can feel it. The other one, you have to be even more gentle. Nothing more than that. You cannot press your thumb. Okay? Really important in both hands not to press the thumb. Nails. Always facing the bridge. Always. So we are pronating the hand toward the bridge. Yeah? While we're playing the cello, the left hand should always look like letter C or a binocular. All the time. All the time. All the time. Without any exception. If you stop and you look, there's a letter C or a binocular. No excuses. Always. 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 Now, in order to gain those feelings, we're going to do something that I call harmonic walk. Just before we start the left hand work, we are going for a walk on the cello with harmonics. The harmonics are as follow. It's D, second finger, E, fourth finger, C sharp, first finger, F sharp, third finger, A, first finger, C sharp, third finger, E, thumb, A, third finger. Let's go back. A, third finger, Pitz, thumb, E, shift, C sharp, third finger, Pitz, A, first finger, Shift, third finger, F sharp. Shift, first finger, C sharp. Fourth finger, E. And back home, D. Let me play it for you once. You can write it or look at the video after. So it's D, second finger, E. Fourth finger, C sharp, first finger, F sharp, third, shift A, first finger, C sharp, third finger, E, thumb, A, third finger, backwards, third finger, thumb, Third finger, A, third finger, F sharp, first finger, C sharp, fourth finger, E, D, second finger. Now, why are we doing it? Why we're doing it? You have to keep the shape. There's no excuse. You, this is a rotten strawberry, meaning you cannot press because it's harmonic. You don't need to press. So you can really get a sensation of rotten strawberry between your two fingers. Also, you feel the jellyfish. Also, you feel the apple and the shape, the uh, nails to the bridge. However, and that's really important, that takes us to the first session we had. The bow, my friends, the bow is playing fortissimo, like we did in the warm-up. So you are developing two different instruments, two different sensations. One, all the hair in fortissimo. And the other one, all jellyfish, rotten strawberry, apple, piani, C, 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 Simo. So. Yeah? 
Now, I want you to play it with me and to vibrate passionately with a beautiful grandma vibrato on each harmonic. Okay? Do not do the harmonic with straight fingers. It's not going to be binocular. That's something many people do. Ready? Two bows for each note. And... Four, one, shift, three, one, three, thumb, three, go back, Now, we're going to do four bows, not two, four. However, the last two bows will always be a journey down to the fingerboard. Like a good air, airplane with a good pilot landing gently on the fingerboard, almost not changing the feeling between the harmonic rotten strawberry to a real strawberry. Okay? This is a lot about sensations, guys. While we're doing it, this stays fortissimo. So let me show it to you once. Rotten strawberry. Real strawberry. backwards. So we really understand the sensation between just holding it gently and then putting a little bit of weight in it. The strawberry feeling on the thumb is exactly the same. Ready? Three, four. Two harmonics. A1. 